Mafa With fire in his eyes He's standing by your door He's waiting for you I see him standing by the door with fire in his eyes and healing in his wings to heal someone who believes. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Talk 20 channel. Today, I've got a very interesting story I would like to share with my viewers. But before I go into the story, I'd like to say a very big thank you to everyone that watched my last video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate. And thank you. I saw all the comments. Awesome comments. Thank you. I really appreciate. I'm just going to go straight to the story because of time. The story says, Hello, NG. I am from Congo. I've been married to my husband for the past 24 years. And I've been hiding a very big secret from my husband. Before I met my husband, I was living a promiscuous life. And along the line, I became pregnant and gave birth to my son, who is now 34 years age, of age. I had him when I was 21 years old. When my, my son was two years old, I was struggling to look after him because I did not have a job and my parents were poor. Luckily for me, I came across a person who said they would help me travel to Europe if I could pay him back when I get there. I discussed this with my parents. Due to our situation, they consented and were very happy about the new plans. But nobody knew what I was bargaining for. We signed an agreement and I was going to pay back that I was going to pay back the money with huge interest. When I got to Europe, that was when I discovered I was going to be selling my body to be able to help my family and then pay back my debt. I accepted this lie because to me then, I thought I had nothing to lose but much to gain. I managed to pay up the debt after a couple of years. After I paid my debt, I stopped the job and decided to find myself a responsible paid job. Luck struck my way once more. I met the man of my dream, who is now my husband, and we have been married for the past 24 years, and I've been blessed with two children. But the problem here is, I've been, try I've been lying to my husband that my son is my younger brother who lives with my parents in Congo. And my parents have been lying as well, just, as, just to help me secure my marriage. And now my son is planning to get married next year. He wants me to be there at his wedding. I feel guilty every day. I am, I am dying in silence. I feel bad because my husband is a very good man who has really shown me love. I don't feel happy hiding the secret from my husband and my children. Please help me, NG. I need your help. What can I do? Whoa. This is a serious, serious issue. This one, mm -mm, it is serious. You know, if I look at your story, by calculation, you gave birth to your son when you were 21. Your son is 34 years old. So by calculation, you are 55 years old. And if I look at your story properly, it seems to me like you got married to your husband when you were 31 years of age. 31 years of age is a matured um, age. You see, when we talk about common sense, people say common sense is not common. You find out that people, when they are supposed to apply common sense, they don't apply. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be rude to you, but I feel right now you are in a mess as a result of you not taking the right decision. I, I, I'm, I'm happy in your, in, your, in your story, you admitted that you were living a promiscuous life. That was why you had your son. 
you know that is why it's very important that people watch the kind of life they live because the kind of life you live have the tendency of affecting your future plan has a tendency we've seen people that go that that goes into politics you know you find out that the kind of life they live before comes fighting them back so it's very important that the things we do the decisions we take in life we must take the the right decision at all times because if you do things that will affect your future plan there is nothing you can do about it in your own case you had your son because you were living a promiscuous life so many women out there if you go into the story of their of their life you find out that some of them were deceived by the men they loved by the men they trusted the man promised them luxury on earth and at the end of the day the man disappointed them and left them with a child it is very important as a woman whatever you're doing even as a man to be very cautious be very careful now uh, the life you lived then was when you know it was your youthful age you were exploring you were trying out in but on your own path you know L love you know you you were not lucky but then why are you hiding a secret from somebody because from your story you said this man loves you this man is a good man why are you hiding a secret from a man that loves you a man that is ready to go all the way with you even up to marriage why are you hiding a secret from him it is very important that we understand that the things we do can affect our our our, our future plan it can affect our children so many people are have heard of stories of people that were in a relationship even men they had children outside their marriage and their wives are not aware of it you find out that when the man dies and the man has properties and they need to you know allocate these properties to their children you see a child comes from nowhere to claim that this is my father i believe love when you say you love somebody, you need to be transparent. You need to open up to the person you love. You can't tell me you love me and you are hiding something away from me. It doesn't work like that. When you love somebody, you open up everything to that person. You allow them into your world. You tell them your past. You tell them your present. Because you don't want them to find out something that they get disappointed in you. In the case where a man will have a child outside marriage and they will not let their wife know, he has a tendency of affecting the children because the relationship between them and these children, it, cannot, it, it, can, it can be very difficult. I have a lot I want to touch on this story. It's a very heartbreaking story and I'd like people to, to, to stay tuned and I'll be right back. Thank you. Welcome back to Talk to Andy channel. Before the break, I was talking about the relationship between your children in Europe and the one in Congo. You need to do something and do it very fast. It is very important that you let your children in Europe know they have a brother in Congo because what you have done has created a huge gap and it's going to be very difficult for them to, to have that bond, to have that relationship, even when they get to know about it. And I must, uh, you know, commend you. The life you lived when you came to Europe, you did that because you needed to pay up your debt. For me, you did a very good thing by changing that lifestyle and going into something more responsible by getting a better job, you know, a well-paid job that will help you. Now, I will advise you, woman, you need to go to your husband look for a time you know you feel you can talk to him when he's in a happy mood and you know sit with him and let him know there is no need you hiding the secret because a lot of marriages out there have been destroyed as a result of people hiding secrets from each other i have heard of marriages that have been that have broken all because 
The woman had a child and never mentioned it. The woman had something she was doing and she was hiding it as a secret from the husband. If you say you love somebody, there is no need you hiding anything from them. To me, before you went ahead to get married to this man, you would have let him know your past. You would have given him the opportunity to decide for himself if he wants to go into that relationship or not. But with what you did, you never gave him the opportunity. And that was not good at all. So I will advise you, you need to go to your husband, let him know. Say, this is the secret you have been hiding for the past 24 years we've been married to him. And I believe if he really, really loves you, he will, he will, he will forgive you. Now, regarding your parents, I don't think what your parents did were, were, were right at all. Your parents shouldn't have supported you to hide a secret from a man that you, you are about to get married to. They should have told you to tell him the truth. At the end of the day, if the man really loves you, he would definitely go ahead with the marriage. That wouldn't have been enough for him to say, no, he's not going to get married to you. I believe if God has destined something to happen in somebody's life, no matter what stands as an obstacle, it will surely come to pass. Madam, you might say it is too late now, but it's not too late. You can still make amends. You can make amends. I will advise you, go back to your husband and make amends. And I pray that God will help you in your marriage. Well, for those that are watching me out there, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know if your situation is similar to the story I just shared. I will advise you, there is no need hiding secret for, from whoever you call your, your love. Just let them know. Tell them. If God says they will stay, they will stay. And I believe telling the truth will not destroy your home. I want to thank everyone that have watched this video today. Thank you for watching my video. And please don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to subscribe. And please press the notification bell. So that when I post any video, you'll be the first person to know. Thank you for watching and God bless. Bye-bye.